Hey guys, Ariadne here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a book discussion on 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. So this is actually the sequel to A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, obviously. Why did I say that? Anyways, so for those of you who don't know, A Thousand Pieces of You uh, is about this girl, Margaret, and her parents are scientists, and they come up with a device that can that allows you to travel, that allows your consciousness, I should clarify, to travel to different dimensions. Um, and there's this whole big thing with Margaret's dad. She goes with Theo to tr find Paul, to kill Paul. Turns out Paul didn't kill her dad. Paul was framed by Theo, who wasn't real Theo, who was, like, actually, um... A Theo from a different dimension that was traveling with her through this whole thing and then um, they got her dad back and they realized that things are happening that are bigger than what they thought. Um, that was a really really crappy overview but let's just keep going shall we? Okay so that's basically uh, a thousand pieces of you. So now in 10,000... <laughs> 10,000 Skies Above You. Such long titles. That's what I don't... The one thing I don't like about these books is the super, super long titles. Anyway, so plot points. They, they're they finally all a happy family. Uh, Paul... I can't remember the context, but Paul used to travel between dimensions again. Because they're trying to find out what Wyatt Conley is doing. They, they don't know exactly what he is doing planning with uh, the Firebirds, which is the necklace dimension traveling thing. Machine. I don't know if it's a machine. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know time travel. Um, but, so he is doing that. Paul went there. Paul didn't come back, so like, okay, something's wrong. So Margaret goes and talks to... Why did I have British for a second? <laughs> this is a trade bag. I'm tired. I'm sorry. He goes to, she goes to talk to Wyatt and find out what happened to Paul and it turns out there's this thing called splintering and it's basically what happens to, what can happen to your consciousness if you travel too much through different dimensions or if you say something like super super traumatic happens to you, like say you die while your consciousness is in like you from a different dimension it can splinter so it's basically your soul your consciousness is broken into like could be millions of pieces to never be put back together however Wyatt Conley has purposely splintered Paul's consciousness into four different pieces so that's happening that ha happened to Wyatt Conley but what's happening to Theo is um because the other Theo was taking over his body, he kept injecting himself with this serum that made it so that he could stay in his consciousness, like, stay in the host body for longer without losing his memory kind of thing. So he kept injecting himself, but that also, that had a toll on real Theo. So now real Theo, the drug, is affecting him, and it's, like, deteriorating his body, and he's pretty much dying. Theo is dying. My baby is dying. Oh my god. Okay, so that's what's happening to Theo. So, Margaret is talking to Wyatt Connolly, and he basically says, I will help, I'll give you the first coordinates to where Paul is, to where a splinter of Paul is. Actually, I think she already got that. The first thing she did is she got the splinter, and then he's like, okay, I'll give you the coordinates to the second splinter. And then... And then this third one, and then finally, once you get these two splinters, you'll come back to me, and I'll give you the fourth one, and I will give you the cure for Theo, or at least something that makes it less worse, less bad, better, better is the word I'm looking for? Something that makes him, like, a little bit better so that he's not actually, like, immediately dying. Um, like that. Um, but in return, Margaret has to travel to these dimensions and specifically has to sabotage her parents' research on the Firebird because these are dimensions that are relatively close to their own and she has to, for some reason, get rid of all the research for Firebird in order to save Paul and Theo, the two people that she loves, 
Um, it's just because they're getting close to actually being able to travel between dimensions. And for some reason, Wyatt Connolly doesn't want that to be able to happen. Well, I'll get there. I'll get there. So, mm, so during all of this, they're traveling, uh, Margaret and Theo are traveling between dimensions. They're going and, and everyone, Margaret is saying like, yes, I can't wait. We're going to get Paul. We're going to get Paul back. I love him. And she always goes with the approach of talking to the other dimensions, Paul. She's playing on that love because she solely believes that every Paul will love every Margaret. That's what she believes. And that isn't actually the case. She's finding that these Pauls don't necessarily love her or she doesn't love them, which is really, really strange to her. So it's that whole... She's trying to figure out, is there such a thing as fate or a destiny? So she's going through all that, which is very a very interesting storyline. I really liked it. And at the same time, Theo is trying to prove his worth because how she believes that everyone is pretty much the same in every dimension, like different aspects, like there's some parts of me that would be the same in every dimension because it literally makes up who I am as a person and I wouldn't exist because of it. She thinks that that's what she is, like, what she has for Paul is the love. Uh, and then Theo is trying to prove his worth because Margaret keeps seeing him as the evil Theo that betrayed her and tried to kill her father and all that, those things. So Theo is trying to prove himself with that and I think that's really cute and also kind of like, I want to hate Margaret just a little bit because she believes too fully that every part of you is every part of you in a different dimension, which is kind of close-minded, actually. Um, anyway, so Paul is actually... This is another thing we kind of got to see. The first book, it was mostly just us from seeing Paul from Margaret's point of view, and it's like, oh, how dare he do all this? And then kind of like seeing that, hey, Paul's not that such a bad guy but he we never actually saw him himself do anything wrong it was just from margaret's point of view this one we actually see the different dimension paul treat margaret very poorly and kind of be like this total switch of character that you never see coming so we actually like paul was actually part of the rough russian mafia in one dimension and it was like he's kind of a, kind of an ass not gonna lie and I was like well it's really different for Paul's character but I kind of think Margaret needed that to see that hey you painted this perfect picture of Paul and that's not who he is like there's so much more to him I think that they kind of just she fell in love with Paul from the Russian universe not her Paul so I think she really needs to differentiate if she loves Paul that from her dimension or if she loves uh, Lieutenant Markov from the Russian dimension. So I don't, I don't know. So that's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to play out in the third book. Theo is my precious little baby and he's to be saved at all costs. Oh my god, I love Theo. He can do no wrong. Evil Theo is a different story. But like, he's trying so hard and he's, he's told Margaret that he loves Margaret and that he doesn't want to get in the way with Paul and I think that's really nice, um, that he doesn't want to ruin their relationship. But, you know, he's, he has feelings too, okay? Theo has feelings too. And I just want Theo to be happy. Um, in this, we're getting to see a little bit more about the perfect traveler. How Margaret is actually not affected by uh, interdimensional travel. Because she can stay in the host body for however long she wants. And she does nothing. Like, she doesn't lose any of her consciousness or anything like that. So we're starting to see more about that. I'm gonna get into the spoilers now. This book was amazing. I love it. Please read it. If you haven't read it yet, read it. It's really, really good. Um, but I'm gonna get into spoilers right now. Okay, so this is actually spoilers once again. Once again, another freaking plot twist, like 20 pages before the end, and like, actually this one wasn't even 20 pages before the end. Well, there was, but then there was an even bigger one that was like literally the last two pages, and I was a little bit upset. The one is actually the the reason that they are doing all of this, that uh, Connolly wanted Margaret to destroy the Firebird in other dimensions is because the main, the first dimension that came up with time travel is in control of everything and they are actually made up of Wyatt Connolly and um, 
Margaret's parents are actually doing this because they want to basically control all of the dimensions and they have actually found an ability to destroy other dimensions like completely just like wipe them out as if they have never existed and Margaret from that dimension is actually evil she's oh my god she goes and destroys dimensions for fun so Margaret's like whoa I can't let that happen just like the last two pages they go back to their main Theo and Theo, Paul, they get Paul back. Theo, Paul, and Margaret go back to their dimension. And it turns out that it is not Theo. It's evil Theo. Evil, evil Theo is back and he's going to keep injecting things into real Theo. And I'm really worried for real Theo. But anyway. And he does something to Margaret. Like injects her with the same thing. And she's like, what? But then evil Margaret takes over Margaret, but like she is completely conscious in her body except the other Margaret is taking control and like has full control of her body and that was literally how the book ended. So I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be all this stuff with Wyatt Connolly and all the, are they gonna destroy the dimension? Um, what is evil Margaret gonna do? What is evil Theo gonna do? Is Paul gonna have to like save everyone? Is real Theo gonna be okay? My baby, I care about him way too much. I actually love this book. It's so good. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's really all I have to say. I cannot wait till the third one. I'm assuming that it's just gonna be a trilogy and the third one is actually gonna be the last book. So I'm excited to see this. This is great. Um, Okay, so next week for my book-related video, I am going to be doing uh, my book discussion on Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll. It's going to be a little bit of a negative uh, discussion, but that's fine. Um, yes, that's really all I have to say, so please comment what you thought on this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday, and I am Iridania, and thank you so much for watching.